Okay, so the continuation of Taurus. Um, cut off at 444. Maybe that's significant to you. Um, somebody's not resting after recovering from something, or they are still recovering from something. Definitely not going within doing the hermit work. Okay, so for the island time wellness, we've got two love oracle cards. We've got Cupid's arrow and sunglasses. So kind of like a little bit of both. You got watching, looking, stalking, gaslighting, perception, focusing out, and then you have half faith, love is coming, surprise, invitation, or meeting, and hesitation. Kind of funny how that looks like that. To me. That just stands out. Anyways. So you got a little bit of both so far. Oh, what else we got for that? Dome. <laughs> Hemispherical roof of a building, a large cupola. 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 <laughs> C-U-P-O-L-A. Interesting. Dome-like shape. That could also be like M. M is forgiveness in runes, which is interesting. Not the arches that like Mickey D's or nothing. Well, it's enough. That satisfies desire, that may answer the purpose. A sufficiency that which is equal to the powers or abilities sufficiently and tolerably. Maybe you got the answers you were seeking. A little bit more clarity for that. One more card. Love card. For Taurus. Love card. Oh, just do it already. Meeting someone new, dating, get back out there, plan, set a date. Maybe you're being hesitant. Again, we got the hesitation here. Every time you convince yourself to do something, you go back on it. It's totally up to you. If you're not ready, you're not ready. But if you are, definitely get out there. Make some fun. Good memories. Um, get used to doing things on your own first, if you want. Or if you're with somebody, start doing more different things. Learn new stuff. Learn new hobbies. Uh, clarification card for that. Please, thank you. offer there whatever it may be maybe to you it doesn't look like much but it doesn't mean it can't grow into something you see down there at the bottom right one two three four five six different branches just because it doesn't look like much at the beginning doesn't mean it can't grow into something or maybe it's already blossomed into something you guys are just like re what do you call it um i want to say revamping hmm. two vampires in one you, uh, re Igniting, that's it. Reigniting the flame, doing something new, getting out there. Have a little faith. Even a surprise invitation might be good. Maybe you're waiting for word to come in and finally it's come in. Person's come in. They're kind of looking to see what they have to offer you. Maybe you're somebody that stands on your own and you don't need nobody or you're used to so used to being by yourself that anybody offering you like a cup of something you're just like meh to you it's nothing but it could be really really good give it an opportunity a chance go on a date at least see don't get too caught up in maybe other people's projections or their negative words that they have to say to you about something like if you're always listening to what everybody else is saying and not for a second are you taking a moment to actually think for yourself that's a problem because that could really interfere with your own luck and your own opportunities that are given to you and stuff like that. If people are around you are always having the last say or they get to sway your decision in some way and you're really not thinking for yourself, then that could be... You could be missing out on a lot of things due to that. Always worried about other people or what they have to say. That's a problem. For sure. Because it's kind of like them being the bully. <laughs> what else are you doing? Uh, keep focusing on whatever it is you're working on. You're craftsmen or women of whatever it is you do. You're very talented. You can build anything from anything pretty much from scratch. You've got the third eye. Your third eye chakra seems to be lit as fuck. So, what we got over here? We got blue. 
blue for speaking and purple for third eye. So you are more than capable of whatever it is that you're setting out to do. You have no problem speaking your truth, no problem saying whatever it is. I think when it comes to the aspect of love or maybe even meeting another person, it makes you a little nervous because that's like a whole other person. And if you're not one to want to control another individual, then there's the unknown. So you got to have a little bit of... Uh, Blind faith, I guess. Okay, uh, past life. Let's see if I can turn it up. Past life. Oracle deck for Taurus, please. Past life, past life. Oracle deck for Taurus. Huh, farm. Maybe this is something that runs in your... Uh, passed down from generations. Maybe you own a farm or your family. Lime has a farm, or maybe you are cultivating and growing something already. Um, you could own horses, or you're really good at riding horses, or just understanding anim animals to begin with, which is a very good quality to have. Or maybe that's something you want to look into, as in going on a date, doing something. That'd be cool. That'd be cool. Going on a trail ride with two people. That love animals they love getting outdoors and they want to go for like a, an hour an hour and a half trail ride you find a place around you a lot of people will do that you got to sign a waiver but <clears throat> you just pay a little bit of money and they take you on a trail ride that should be fun if that's what you want to do sing seven Okay, so you're not really in a state of fighting right now. You put your swords down, which is good. Uh, it doesn't mean you can't later on. We got red and purple. So something to do with your roots. Maybe you're used to always having to uh, battle it out with certain people just to get your way, but now you really don't want to do that. So that's what makes you nervous is being vulnerable around new people or a new person. I wouldn't worry too much about that. What's this? The Knight of Coins in reverse. What was that again? I have yet to memorize everything. Knight of Coins in reverse, though. Hmm. Yeah. Stagnation, inertia. That that could come from the whole idea of hesitation itself. Um, lack of determination or direction. Narrow-mindedness. Limits set by do dogmatic views or idleness. So you've pretty much like. Maybe your perception. Here's the other one for perception, right? And then we've got hesitation. So it could be you yourself holding yourself back from whatever it is that you're trying to do. But you are a hard worker. You have no problem with putting your foot down and getting shit done. So I wouldn't say... I wouldn't say... Where was that? I just had it. Yeah, I wouldn't say it's lack of determination, so to speak, unless it's for choosing whatever direction you're trying to go in, like, uh, what do you call it, indecisiveness, maybe. That might be it. If you're indecisive, that could be holding you back, too. I've been there. At one point in my life, I had no problem with choosing what I wanted, when I wanted to do it, and getting it done, and doing a multitude of different things all at once, and then at another point in my life, it was like everything was everywhere, and I wasn't able to focus, and... Um, things were chaotic and I was trying to rebuild everything from the ground up so it made it very hard to make decisions because after everything I went through it's almost like okay well now you have all this information so making said decisions are going to be harder because you know what the consequences may or may not be and then that whole idea of being indecisive creates problems too because it's not moving forward again working hard so you got the seven of pentacles and you got eight of pentacles or sorry the eight of coins and the next one would be nine of coins, which is independent and self-sufficient. So you're well on your way. Maybe leaving behind all the burning buildings or whatever chaos was in the past. You don't need that bullshit. Um, and then you were given the opportunity for something new. Which is good. Uh, I would like a little bit more for farm, farm life. Maybe explain that a little bit. Get more in depth with that. Is that like... Uh, that needed to that 
two cards trying to come out so far. Clearly. What do you want to say? Farm. Just because, okay, now go back over here. Just because you get one off, it doesn't mean you won't get another. I don't worry too much about that. Um, looking, keep looking. There we go. Strength in reverse to explain. Now, I don't know if it was just for that, but it could be your own fears getting in the way. I think we just discussed this. It's pretty self-explanatory. I really don't need to go into too much detail. If you're holding yourself back, you already know what you need to do. I wanted a card to clarify the whole idea of farm. Ah. Oh, this could be a manner of property even. Um, justice. So whatever it is. Uh, it seems like there's going to be a resolution to it, some form of balance. Maybe it wasn't balanced before and now it's going to be balanced. It looks like, like, if you're a woman stuck in between two men or vice versa, then there's going to be some form of balance, whether it be at your hand or somebody else's. Maybe somebody new coming in will help you because it doesn't look like you want to fight no more anyways, really. That could be what the fear is. Because you know if you start going at it, you, that's it. You'll like wild it out or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> oh, well, let's get another one. It's not giving me too much for farm. I want a little bit more explanation. But maybe there is something there. <sighs> maybe a past person was a hard worker on the farm. Somebody that you knew in a past life. Give one more past life card for Taurus. Maybe give some clarity to link everything up together. Atlantis. So we got land and sea. You're a bit of both, a mix between the two. That's beautiful. Maybe your partner is one of each, or you're both of each. That's an interesting mix. Don't hesitate. If you need to say something, say it. If you need to act on something, do so. The more you hold back, the more it's just going to cause more confusion. Maybe make it worse. Oh, that went right in the cup. <laughs> that almost went right in my cup. And it's big enough too, but it landed like on top. And bounced off. Okay, so you got the Knight of... The King of Coins story. So you have the Knight of Coins in reverse over here, but then you have the King of Coins upright, and where was it? You had that offer. So ultimately, you get to choose. Money's not everything, but this is usually a loyal, loyal individual, man or woman. And yeah, hopefully that helps. Oh, one more. Let's see what else we get in there. What else you got? Whole of coins. Exploration. Act of exploring. Strict or careful examination. Yeah, so take your time, but make up your mind. Hopefully that helps.